she going boys Mike here welcome back to Grampy's workshop nice day at the lake today a little cloudy cool but it's fall after all so it's not so bad and guess what we're heading back to the lumber storage shed to finish up the epic lumber storage systems cutoffs that's the target today let's get at her so we're back here in the lumber shed and I've got the uh, this last piece of two by four from the rafters of the boathouse that got damaged and destroyed by Hurricane Fiona. I had this one set aside, saving it for this part of the job. Because what I'm trying to do here this morning is I'd like to make some sort of storage unit here in the corner, this front, I guess front left corner when you come into the wood to the lumber shed, to store short pieces. Like here I have uh, some short pieces here, and those ones are just four foot one inch or something right uh, I've got a lot of cutoffs like that four feet and shorter I'm figuring uh, the way I'm going to end up trying to store my lumber is anything longer than say five feet I'd like to store here in the vertical part anything five feet or less I'd like to store in a smaller uh, unit so that it's easier to see and recognize what I have in there I have this piece of 2 by 4 here and I'd like to install that right about like this and then put a platform on it, say, I don't know, uh, I'm going to say 4 feet, just thinking out loud right now, 4 feet off the floor uh, and then I can store pieces like 1 foot, 2 foot, 3 foot pieces below it and then 4 and 5 foot pieces above it. So let's get started. I have my level here. Right away I can see that this is not level. It's hard to measure these things plumb because the 2x4s get kind of a hoop in it. <laughs> I think it's a female 2x4 because it's got lots of curves. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'd like to build a frame that goes around here, set a shelf on it, right? So I cut a piece of wood here. Uh, I need to, to support the, the long legs of my shelf bracket on this. So that means I have to almost assemble the shelf bracket ahead of time because I have to screw through this face to hold the long pieces on before I can screw this to this stud. So what basically what I'm trying to tell you here is I have to make this whole frame and then insert it and secure it to the walls. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be taking a bunch of measurements, doing a bunch of head scratching, doing a bunch of double measuring before I cut once. So I'm going to make it four feet off the floor. So I just put this little cleat on here just to hold the frame that I'm going to put in place because I have to build it around this stud. We'll set it up there. First impressions is, <clears throat> looks like it's going to fit. So I put a mark on my stud here at four feet, so that's where I want the top of it to be. Alright. Actually, we probably don't need this cleat in here anymore. Put a shelf on this then and that'll be that'll be good then i have to put of course some pieces on here to support to uh, keep the wood from falling out but uh, because this is uh, four foot high at the top i'm only going to be able to get pieces three foot six or less in here which is good so i cut a piece of sheathing and this was a piece of damage sheathing that came off the boathouse from the fiona damage so i'm uh, you know, reusing this, <laughs> repurposing this piece of wood. So I just want to mark it here where I need to cut to get around the, the 2 by 4 Okay. So there we have that in place. Almost, it fits almost like I measured it, eh? Now what I'm going to 
to do is figure out how I'm going to make my uh, dividers, my cubbies down below here for storing wood. So I've been working away at this and uh, I wasn't videoing a lot of it because it's just, well, for one thing, it's too dark in here. Plus, there's not a lot of room to work to begin with. So anyway, I'll just show you what I've done. Um, down here on the bottom, I put some dividers in. My idea uh, is this little cubby that I built in here for like a 12 to 18 inch pieces. Then the little cubby under here is going to be for like 18 to 24, 32 pieces, and then 32 to 48, 32 to 48, and then bigger pieces up top. All right, I've been doing a little bit more work here in this uh, lower cubby. I put a cross brace here, and then this little cubby in here, uh, it's as dark as <laughs> anything in there. Yeah, I put a bottom in it with sides, and that's gonna hold pieces from 12 inches to 24 inches. There's the sides, and then I left this bottom part open because as I store my wood in this side, I'm going to be putting it on an angle like this, no doubt. So I'm thinking I could store, I don't know what, under there, more wood. So rather than lose that space, I left that open so we could uh, use it. Just about finished the cubbies down below, but what I want to do for this shelf is I thought of a bunch of different things. I started laying some lumber in this way, like uh, laying it in through here. Uh, that was working all right, but it seemed like it was a big space, you know, just to lay lumber down here. So then I thought, well, I'm just going to take it and pile it straight up in the air. But then I thought, you know, the highest I can get here is probably maybe five and a half feet. Uh, four feet on this end because the way the slope, the roof goes. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put another shelf in here about maybe 18 inches off of this one. And I'm going to put cubbies in here, maybe three cubbies, so I can store my shorter pieces in here because I've got a lot of short pieces, right? Put another shelf on it up here and then I can lay in longer pieces on their side. They'll be high, but uh, you know, I guess I'll have to live with that. So what I'm going to do to start with today, I'm just going to measure up again like I did. Just put a, a, a ledge around the edge here to put another shelf on like I did for down here. So I decided that I was going to put the top of this of these ledge for the shelf at 20 inches so I'm going to mark up 20 inches in here Then we can put screws in the end here to hold it together. Perfect. Hard to see the bubble. Doesn't look too bad right where it is. So that's going to make my my base for the second shelf. All right, I'm trying to find some material to make my shelf out of, eh? And uh, I wasn't able to find a piece big enough to do the whole thing all at once, but I found two pieces. So I got this piece and the piece that's up here. All right, I got my first piece set in up here, and now this is the second piece with this little uh, finger hole cut in it to fit around the stud. That seems to fit okay. That should do well. Now I'm going to put some screws in there to hold it down. I want to put some dividers in here. I'm thinking if I leave this wide open, it'll be just too much of a clutter in there. I won't be able to sort through the wood. So I put some dividers in it, it might work better. So this opening is 39 inches, so I have 13 inches. 13, 26, 39, that ought to do it, eh? 19 inches. And I'm looking for a waste of stock here. So I have one, one piece of one by four that's longer than 19 inches. So I'm going to rip this in half, just make my dividers in there. I might even put them in this way. Give me even more room, right? Uh, I'd also want to put a couple of dividers at the back because I might want to put a skin in here, like to separate the compartments. So I'm just thinking of that now, too. So here's another piece of scrap. 
and that's going to be just the right length. So, so that's why I don't throw out the cutoffs like that. You know, who's going to keep a piece of wood like that? Who'll ever use it? Well, it's going to work perfect for this. So, so right on the 13 inch mark right there. So there's that one. Now these pieces for the dividers, I cut a notch in them at the top to fit around the one by here so that they'll fit tight to the wall at the back. I also put pilot holes, pre-drilled pilot holes in them. So we're gonna do that same thing with this other one now. Okay, so now that we have the dividers in there, I'm going to go cut a piece of just, I don't know, some scrap material I can get, just put skins in here. So for the dividers, uh, I've got some thin little sheets of uh, Luan plywood, I think it is. Tell you what this came out of, we had an old dresser one time and we were tossing it out, but I stripped it all down because you know, it was made out of pretty good wood, so I was saving the wood, but I saved the bottom of the drawers, so that's why you save stuff, right? <laughs> So I'm going to put this in here, so I've got some little three quarter inch screws just to hold this in place. And then this one goes on this side. Alright, so there's my stick. Put it right in there. And then I'm just going to put a couple of three quarter inch screws in here to hold it at the bottom. Because that still wobbles around a lot, I think I'll put some screws in the back here. Alright, it doesn't go right to the top, but that'll work. So here's the other one that's going to go on this side. And then a couple of toenail screws in here. All right, so I've got a bunch of scrap wood here, cutoffs behind the camera, but here's just a couple of pieces I grabbed, random lengths. These, this is kind of short, so that was going to go in this little cubby right here. This longer piece, that can go. Uh, I was thinking of putting them in here, but uh, I think I'm going to leave that for more of these 18 inch or less pieces. So that guy can go there, he can go there. These pieces are a little longer, so can they go in there? I don't think that's going to bother too many people. Down here, if that is too long, we can store them down there. So here's a quite a long piece. This piece is just four feet long. Oh, and this little piece of two by four, or two by two, is two and a half feet long. So two and a half feet long. It could go there, I suppose. But these four foot pieces, I can store them in there. Store that guy down there. Here's some random short pieces, so we can store those in our little small cutoff piece cubby. All right. <laughs> Let me know really what you think. I got this top shelf up here, and I only have a few little pieces on it now, but that's going to be good, I think. I can get a lot of wood up there. Now down here, uh, this cubby here is going to be for 12 inch pieces similar to like what I have down here but they can go up there uh, I might get a piece of lattice just to cover that in again to make it like the bottom one uh, these pieces here they're uh, like I have marked right there they're anywhere between 18 and 36 inches these ones here like the tag says I put tags on them and this is dressed lumber in that little cubby and that's from 32 to 48 or so and this is rough from 32 to 48 Going in there, kind of sticks out, but the door swings open, so I don't think that's going to be in the way. And then I guess we can just, you know, this is going to be rough lumber up here, finished lumber here, of various sizes. So yeah, that's my cutoff storage area oh, yeah, down at the bottom. I had a couple of pieces of almost four foot long four by four left over from something, so they just slid under there out of the way pretty decent. When all is said and done, and Billy writes home to mom. It's not a bad looking cutoff storage area. Well, there are the epic 
lumber storage shed renovation is complete i think now i've got a good spot to store the sheet goods good spot to store lumber you know sticks that are 12 foot long and now i finished up the cutoff area i've got lots of cubbies there to store lots of little cutoff pieces varying length so that's going to be good be able to get the shop cleaned out now oh I'll be able to get my shop back that's going to be nice Anyway, do you think it's nice? What do you think of that cutoff storage area? What do you think of the whole lumber storage shed? Let me know in the comments if you wouldn't mind, please. And hey, if you don't like it, I'd still appreciate to get a thumbs up, you know, just because be sporting about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Sure hope you're having a great week wherever you are, folks. And we'll talk to you.